Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Uh, today we're doing another Final Fantasy uh, Let's Play. So, this is part 9. I know that the other ones have been kind of boring up to now, but the storyline is actually going to start moving forward quite quickly. Um, provided I don't take a whole lot of side quests, which I plan on taking a whole lot of side quests, because one, I want to level up Noctis as much as possible, and two, I really, really like some of these side quests. And giving you guys the full experience of the game is kind of the plan. So, that's what I'm going to do. Anyway, we last left off um, at an inn in Lestalem, and that's where we're going to pick up at, hopefully, if I loaded the right save file. There's like six of them. So, I'm trying to make sure that I get the right ones. Anyway, um, that's where we're going to pick up at, is at the end in Lestalem. We're going to go out, we're going to do a little bit of storyline, maybe uh, play a mission or something, and continue from there, if we have time. Just get this going. <clears throat> Okay. So now we actually get to see the Stalom in full view of daylight. And it's a beautiful city. Ignis, how many royal arms are there? As many as there have been kings, though not all will have survived to this day. It's like a treasure hunt. Okay. So we're going to go over here and we're going to continue with the story. Let's go. One hell of a crowd. Well, this must be the main thoroughfare. She's at the Laville. Let's go. So now we're just gonna go around this way and make a. Oh, hold on. Lord Ravis Knox Floray was recently appointed Imperial High Commander. However, due to grievous wounds sustained in the Citadel, he has been recalled to Niflheim for treatment. Citizens are assured he will resume peacekeeping efforts in Lucis once recovered. Okay. So we got that information going. And. I'm basically just going back to where I was before, so I can just go down this way. I'm just going back to the inn, the, the motel, hotel, whatever it is. And we'll start the story from there. Whoa! Did you feel that? You mean the earthquake? What's wrong? My head just started throbbing. You all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Yay, we're being called. So the ground shakes, your brain aches. Yeah, a sort of seismic shock to the system. Curious. All right, let's see the little lady. Gladdy! Iris. Gladdy. Look at you guys holding your own out there. <laughs> what can I say? You look good. All things considered, you guys are staying here, right? That's the plan. When you have time, we have catching up to do. Sure. All right. So, let's see where the story takes us from here. Jared and Talcott, is it good to see you? Quinn's not this! Iris is safe with me! <laughs> Please excuse my grandson. He has yet to learn his manners. I like it. Your <laughs> Highness is very kind. But we shan't impose. A very good night to you, Your Highness. So, Iris, what was it like inside the Crown City? Not pretty. 
The Citadel took a beating. But a lot of outlying neighborhoods made it through in one piece. Oof. The Empire had tactical targets in mind. You know, if there's anything else, you can ask me. Yeah, uh, thanks. <clears throat> Uh, what? So, about Lady Lunafreya. I keep hearing she was in town. <laughs> Apparently she left right away. But at least it means she's okay. <sighs> good to hear. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, well, get a good night's rest. Well, that's good news. Luna's safe. Yes, yes. We literally just did this. <laughs> and somehow we leveled up again, even though we just did this. Interesting. I'm saving that one. And that one. These two... no, not really. Morning, sleepyhead. Morning. Where is everyone? Oh, they're out walking with Talcott. They went to see the sights. We should, too. Except. Sure. Why not? Great. I'll show you around. It seems your patience was rewarding. Enjoy your walk, and please take care. Of course. For our first stop, we'll check out the marketplace. Follow me, right awesome. this way. I love markets. Let's go there. I'm trying not to run. <laughs> it's even more beautiful out here at night. <sighs> yeah, I know. I just saw it last night. Yucks. Yucks? Yuck. Yuck. Yeah. Yuck. Okay. I'm assuming that's some kind of meal or an inn or something. This is the Partella Market. You can get almost anything here. Oh, Isn't well it aware. great? I'd buy out the whole place if I could. All these shops seem right up your alley. You know me so well. Aww. This is an experience points game. Cool. Wow. Look at all this neat stuff. I'm gonna take a look. Give me just a sec. Done. Next, we're gonna see the power plant. Oh yay, power plant. That's gonna be a while. Come on, let's go. Okay, I'll lead. Oh, you can actually keep up with me, cool. I'll grab that. I always wondered why they wear such weird clothes in Final Fantasy, but Noctis's outfit's pretty normal. It's everyone else who dresses funny. Like, insanely weird sometimes. I'm trying to keep this interesting for you guys, but with these uh, little side quests that have a so lot of cutscenes. What are you going to do when we get to Kayam? Me? Um, yeah. That's the power plant. The driving force behind Lestalem's prosperity. But get this. Only women work there. As okay. a matter of fact, women are the ones who do all the work in this town.
Sounds like your kind of place. I can see you doing well here. I think so too. It's so different from home. I was surprised at first, but I like it. All right. Next, we're going to the Outlook. Of course we are. <clears throat> to be quite fair, I really don't know what the honest answer, like the correct answers are. I'm assuming that it's pretty much the top choice for all of them. But eh. I'm a city girl, but I dig the rustic charm. Huh. Oh, there you are. I was a little worried for a second there. This is the weirdest, most uncomfortable date I've ever been on. A, so... That should tell you something about how this certain area in the game plays out. Because I've been on some weird and uncomfortable dates before. <laughs> you would totally love the drinks in this place. Would I? Whoa. Oh, come on, Noct. On it, is it... Imagine Jeez. taking one for a spin. Oh, yeah. Uh, you are just horrible with women, aren't you, Noctus? Hey, it's Gladius's girlfriend. Cool. Where'd you go, little lady? Oh, there you are. You went around the other side. Pegler Outlook. Amazing view, right? Look! There's the meteor! You know, Noct, this almost feels like a date. Oh. Please let that be really choice. No, not at all. Would it kill you to play along for once? The others are probably back at the hotel by now. Let's join them. Okay. Let's go. Been a lot of tremors lately. Hope the rocks around here haven't been shaken loose. Wave, yay. Let's wave. Come on. Looks like it's the right choice. Make light of this situation is probably be a bad choice. <sighs> the breeze feels so good. <sighs> <laughs> She's just all happy go lucky, and he's just. Uh, life sucks. I am definitely him some days. Let's see if the others are back. <laughs> Haven't had fun like this since we were kids. Thanks, Noct. No sweat. I had fun too. <laughs> you did? I'm so happy to hear that. All of your charm anyway, comes from me. The thing I bought today, it's for you. But it's a surprise, so you're gonna have to wait. Oh really? Someone bought me a surprise. Nifty. Hey, look who's back. Talkit. Go on and tell him what you told me. You got it. Oh, come now, show some respect. Whoa, no need to respect me. I'm not royalty. So, there's this legend about a sword, and the sword's supposed to be behind a waterfall nearby. It may well be one of the lost tombs. Check it out. Sure. Thanks for the tip, Talkit. You're welcome. Dude, why do you look like Shadow the Hedgehog from behind? Ah. <sighs> come along. This sounds dangerous. Will the four of you be all right? We should be. I just hope I have enough time. Okay. Looks like there's a quest location to the left of me. I didn't get to eat, which means I am out of stuff that I can use to give myself a bonus. Okay. This is going to be an interesting run. Auto. Quest location. 
folk here are real friendly. Yeah, everybody greets you. Takes some getting used to. You draw more attention here than you do at home. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. I'm about 15 minutes into the recording, so let's see. Got one AP. So, this uh, waterfall that they're talking about is up here, uh, a couple of miles away, maybe. And uh, we're going to pull off and walk down this trail and go around a little bit of a bend, and it's going to be there. But there's going to be some serious enemies down here, like some very irritable enemies. So, I'm going to try very, very hard not to uh, die. Because, as I said before, I still haven't really level grind, level grinded a lot for this game. Even, even the top lights are shattered. That's that's sad. This poor car. I really need to take it and get it fixed up. Because that is just some messed up windshield right there. Huh, from this angle, it looks like it's covered in blood. Nifty. You guys probably want to see the scenery. Oh, there's a campground. Ignis, pull over a sec. Certainly. We're gonna hit the campground. <sighs> Let's head on out. Why are we gonna hit the campground? Because... One... I really need to eat something so that I got a boost to my character's stats. And two, there's some enemies over here that I'm dying to try out. Stay sharp. Chop chop. These guys are level 25, so they're gonna be pretty tough to fight. I'll cover. I know. I believe these were actually based on the summon. Um. Ow! Why are they all attacking me? Accident. Here goes nothing. All in together now. How about this? That wasn't so fucked up. Okay, take him down. I'm impressed. I hate those bees. The bees suck because they poison the characters. But these horses are actually designed after an Aeon in Final Fantasy X. Which is one of my favorites. Take him out. Suck, yes, sir. Okay. There should only be like two of these guys left. Harry. That's one dead bee. Where are these ones coming from? I don't know that I've that many over here. Hello, Ooh. Getting by. I got deflected. And I'm down. Oh, hi there, opening. <laughs> Better than ever. Nice one, Pronto. Ignis! Of course. Nicely done, Ignis. What can I say? Yeah, they're getting kind of tough. That's why I'm doing this. Power up. Is that everything? All right. You hate bucks. Me? Yeah. Can't stand them. Same here. <laughs> Icky. 
Oh, that's funny. There it is. Fire energy's full. Okay. So I gotta get up here and get some food in my stomach so that I can continue with the story a little later. Magitek engine. It's close. No, 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 no. No Magitek engine. No, no, no. No, no. Let's call it a day. I'll see what I can whip up. Awesome. That'd be great. So, if you're trying to figure out, let's see. Attack by 30, maximum HP by 300. But what I actually want, well, you know what, let's do the cup of noodles. I told you I was going to do more than pizza, even though the pizza's my favorite. It prevents poison and, you know, enables sprinting without stamina loss, and increases my attack by 100. So, all in all, it's the best well-rounded item, and you really don't need any items for it. But we're going to do a cup of noodles, just because... Cup noodles is awesome. That's why. Oh, yay. It's shrimp flavor. Okay. Yeah, that's right. They get a specialized cutscene when you do cup noodles. Okay, let's see what Lewis. we got. That one's okay. <laughs> Nailed it. Why can't I warp too? So unfair. Hmm. I don't really want to save any of these. Okay. Looks like we're auto saving. Okay, that's good information. So, Gladius got a bonus to his to go. Just stuff. About awake. I'm run down here and see if there's any. Nope, we're full on that. All good. So now we just go back this way some, or is it that way some? I don't know. Hey, hey, you want to watch where you're going? Guys, chill. Just chill. Cars huh. over here. Yeah, that's right, I'm out of stamina. I forgot that I didn't eat the pizza. Get in the car. Resume. Ready for more? You bet. Let's hit it. So I'm approaching half an hour on my recording time. So as soon as I get to this location... So Nox, haven't taken pics of whatever catches my eye, but what do you want to see? Um... Take more weakness. Get some more shots of specs. Ah, <sighs> gotcha. I'll see what I can do. Okay. <coughs> We're gonna focus on weakness. Anyway, so like I was saying, um, I'm approaching like the 30 minute mark, so what I'm going to do is, I'm actually going to... Are you really up there? Oh, you idiot. Haven't you ever heard of seatbelts? Thirty minute mark, so I'm gonna get down here to where the waterfall is, and I'm gonna end this video for today. I know I didn't really have much in it, mostly just a whole bunch of driving, but I uh, 
think it'd be a good idea to end this before we get too deep into the too deep into the story. We're gonna want to make a run through the whole, you know, the whole cave at one time. So I figured that would be a good idea to just to do it all at once because it's uh, kind of a long run. It's a dungeon just like the last one, so that'll be what we do. And we're gonna park right over here. Ignis, pull over a sec. Certainly. It should be a nice change of pace. I don't know why he didn't park in the parking spot knowing that's where we have to go. Oh. Sorry, folks. It won't be much longer. Just let us get our stuff and we'll move out of your way. So yeah, we're gonna go down the hill. There's actually a hunt that takes place down here uh, a little later. Man, that hurts. Another headache. This is not normal. Yeah. I know it's not normal. It's because we're being summoned by a giant. Hello. I almost missed you. Where was I? Oh, yeah. There's actually a hunt that takes place down here. Um, right down there, actually, where that giant snake is. Yay. We gotta pass this thing on. No kidding aside, this could be bad. So we'll just stay out of it. No, nah, it's cool. It's Let's go. 54. All kidding aside, I hate you. Bring it on. Whoa. Come on, pick me up. Pick me up, pick me up. Come on, hurry up and pick me up. Oh, are we all in danger? Yes, we are. Ouch. Okay. So I'm just going to get out of here. Okay. So that's very bad. You've got basically no chance of beating that thing. Are you kidding me? And every time I leave the area, his health completely refills. So I'm just gonna go. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Seems Prompto's been intoxicated. Just intoxicated? Great. Don't think I forgot about you. <sighs> Glad you were there. Okay, you know what? We're just gonna go this way. Because going around that thing is a pain. And of course these guys are gonna be even bigger. He's looking pretty rough. Well, that's why we're gonna go this way. Kind of you. Man, I can't do any of that with these guys here. I don't think we're strong enough to go through this area. So this might actually be a very bad thing for us. Um Yeah. The legend says to look behind the waterfall. What does the waterfall say? I think it says, come in. What kind of idiocy? What? Look behind the waterfall. Well, you know it. An entrance. Looks like the legend checks out. <laughs> this place gives me goosebumps. Double back for our coats? What's the point? Little Joe won't kill you. Yeah. Well, See? looking on the bright side, maybe the cold keeps the demons at bay? Yeah, because monsters like war. Ah. Okay, so we're just gonna go into gear. 
Noctis. We're gonna fix this because you know. I don't want to hear them complaining about it the entire time. Sarcasm. Hmm. But what if they're frozen? Encased in ice, waiting for something warm to pass by. And then they jump out! <laughs> yeah, I kind of hated this area. So this is where I'm going to end the video. I'm just going to step in and I can't save because I'm inside of a dungeon. So I'm going to step back out. And then I'm going to save. And that's where I'll leave it off because I do not want to do this at this very moment. I don't have enough time to go through that. And I'm just going to go ahead and save it down here. Blam. Okay, that's it for my video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Peace.